Hi guys, Digital Demon here again, and welcome back to Until Dawn. In the last episode, we um, have already killed off our first two characters in what seems to be a flashback to last year at a winter gathering in a cabin in the woods. We're back the following year to uh, go back to said cabin uh, in memory of the two sisters, I'm guessing. He did say annual, so it could be a recurring thing. But we also met um, a therapist, which seems to be addressing us, the player. Uh, I've got a few ideas about that, but I'm going to keep them to myself for now. But we seem to be making decisions, a lot of decisions, and I think that reflects on how this game plays out, and then we play through that game. Uh, so I think there's a number of different things. There's a, a possible slasher film going on. There's a possible supernatural film going on. There's definitely something about an Indian burial ground. And Predator, for some reason. But um, we are playing here as Sam and just enjoying the view. And we will move onwards. As we are trying to find our way to the cable car. But in true horror game style this will be out of order, I imagine. And I have to return power. Chris? Chris, he's the one who left the note. So, there's a phone in a bag, I think, there. So if he hasn't got his phone on him, let's try the door. So no, it's just it hasn't got power, it's just not got any access in. So I'm guessing this game is going to be a lot about uh, exploration. So, oh, the past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here? Interesting. Okay, so that's something to do with the uh, the sisters, I'm guessing. The brother seems to be throwing the party, and he, after losing his two sisters in one go, after drinking whiskey, passing out, just waking up, he's going to be in some sort of mess, I would have thought. So uh, let's have a look at this bag and phone. I think it's a phone. Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? No, I'm watching you from the bushes, it seems. Oh, yeah, it is a phone. What? It's vibrating. Close bag or snoop? Well, no, no. We were. Uh, I think Sam's a good girl, so close the bag. Maybe I shouldn't go around Chris's stuff. That said, Ashley. Is Ashley another character in this? Chris. Put fire Sam, effects hey, for PM. You made it. Interesting. Hello, Chris. Oh. Aren't you half covered in shadow and probably not evil at all? Methodical Chris has a crush on Ashley. That was the one that was just phoned in. Protective and humorous. All the best killers are methodical. Just saying. Oh, I think I watched so, so many horror films. I found something kind of Might have amazing. a problem. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Wait. Are you going to kill me already? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Okay. So we're now following Chris, who is so obviously not the killer. And there's another flashy thing here. What's this? Wanted. Oh, look at this. Victor Milgram. Sex, nice. male. Height, six foot we'll two. Visit from America's most wanted. Last known like address. So. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Okay, I was just reading. Uh, Blackwood Pines, last seen. Uh, oh, sorry. We're going to say the 3rd of the 16th, but we. The way we write our dates in uh, Britain is we do the day first, then the month, then the year. But I forget, this is an American game. It's um, month, date, and then the year. So, 16th of March, 1998. I don't know when this is set. We've got we've got modern technology, so I'm guessing it's going to be sort of present day. So, roughly want to say 20 years, 15, 20 years that uh, this guy's been missing. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offence. So, is it a guy with a flamethrower? The arson offence as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwoods Police... something something? Oh, there. Bla <laughs> Blackwood Provincial <laughs> Mountain. Never mind. Uh, and Police Mount de Blackwood. 
for some reason. July 1998. So, tutorial collect clues to solve mysteries of Until Dawn. Okay, so there's that on R1 as well. The twins? Okay, so we have various clues to uh, to fill in. One of 30 clues. Okay, so there's going to be 1952 and the twins. So the twins is obviously Hannah and Beth. 1952. Don't know what that could play on. And Mystery Man. Yeah, it's the guy with the flamethrower who wanted to help us. I do not want to say this, he wanted to help us. I don't know if it's the same... No, yes, we do know it's the same guy with the machete because we saw his side profile in his first appearance. So he wanted to help us, but did he want to help us to capture us is the question. We don't know whether he's a good or a bad guy yet, but he definitely want, didn't want us to fall to our death. That was the important thing. What have we got here, Chris? Ta-da! Ta-da what? Pretty rad, right? What is it? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range a shooting doing range. at the base of Ski Lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah? He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Okay. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright. Here goes. Okay, so we're practicing shooting now. So he's shooting an element of this then. I'm guessing it is. Uh, what was the first thing we'll go for is... Use right stick and aim R2 to shoot. Oh, it's timed. Why is it timed? And why is it telling us what we can shoot? Okay, it's not... What's that down there? Oh, another can. It's not proper, sh it's like uh, in The Walking Dead where you can just vaguely put it in the right direction, press the button and it wow, works. Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna a bad go dancer. ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. He has got it wedged right in the right place. I have actually fired a double barrel shotgun before. And that was well, anybody in their uh, clay pigeon shooting in Wales. That big, that close. Only the once. And oh, watch the squirrel. You don't want to be getting here. Why is there nuts on there? Oh, it's acorns. Must have fallen off the tree. Uh, why is that a viable? Uh, no. I'm shooting the squirrel. <laughs> Even if it is methodical and is clearly the killer. I always hate it in horror films when the the animals. Do what you like to the hey, humans, shooter, but right, so um, wait, when the animals get in, in Come trouble. On, Chris, the cable uh, never car. like that. I always think, leave it alone. Butterfly effect update. So, little decisions obviously affect little things. Maybe like how characters talk to each other. Oh, we're Chris now. Um, how characters talk to each other, but there's clearly big things, and I don't know what that was. Not shooting the squirrel? Was that a we big thing? Back up here after a whole year. Guess we'll find yeah, out. I swear the moment I got here. I don't know what it could possibly oh, lead to. But then again, little things are supposed to have amazing amazingly big results in the future. So is the squirrel gonna come in and save the day? Yeah, that is weird. that is what I'm predicting Doors right locked. now. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. So do you have the key? People. I I don't know. He said they you found people the sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay, so let's go inside. After you. Oh, really? Oh, snowboard. I don't know how much mystery there is to this game, but I'm certainly treating it as uh, as if it was a mystery game. So I overthink everything, so I'm clearly going to be overthinking this. So what have we got here? Uh, nothing. I notice uh, an invisible wall. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. There's How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. What have we got here? Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy what a place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. For a healthy body and mind. Bottom mountain. So, was it like a rehabilitation centre? Is there any reason why I can think those two would be together? Okay, so we've got a screen. And... 
Okay, various different Well it was showing one thing, I assumed it was going to flick through. Okay, can I not change the channel? No? Okay. Not sure what it was showing the first off there. Looked like a I don't know. A swimming pool or something? Sort of uh, skiing goggles. Okay, nothing in here. So are we literally just waiting for the. Uh... Finally, you coming? Oh, it's coming now. Yeah, well, so I was just no, a waiting game for us to check. Disease, but... Okay. I still can't get over the fact she's wearing. Oh, or could I? Could I not leave? Just send her up on her own. No, no. We'll we'll, we'll make sure we. Uh... Just like going to the prom. If he is methodical and thinks things through. That's how we're going to play, Chris. Right. Adventure begins. I've got those other characteristics as well. What? Humorous. It was humorous. You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. And Sam and was really diligent and charitable. And... And... Yeah, no. He definitely did. That's, I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. It's hard to tell with him, and I... And I've kind of been worried. Yeah. No, You're going to no, be worried about was, your friend. That makes sense. Idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know I what? bet Let's they enjoyed just, filming this. Stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know, I'll get over how close you know and detailed the I actual met? actors they are. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. Okay. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the Let's teacher made him age. move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? Yeah. You could be riding the ones that developed early home. were always the most popular right girls now. back or in primary talking school. Or some other person entirely. What about elementary school if you're over in America? Effect. Boom, butterfly effect. That's more coincidence than butterfly effect. In fairness. So we're going up here. I'm wondering if we've got a um, a screen sort of scenario going on. We we're gonna have like two killers and it's the other teenagers. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. He was the one who played the prank on Confident, Trusting, and Irreverent. Trusting. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So if she's going to be trusting, she's going to be dead. She's going to trust the killer. Meet and greet. So is she new to the group? Mike's new girlfriend. Presumably. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, okay. Are you guys having a that really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? So they know us, so please? she can't be that new. Or was she there, just not as Mike's girlfriend? Because Mike did have a girlfriend in the previous one. Or is that going to be conflict? Oh my Probably. god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Explain, uh, insist. Give that back, he has no business. I don't like this Chris Give character. that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try to do that. around in other people's That's nostrils. Cool. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. I thought she was trusting. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. Or have I just made her suddenly untrusting? Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just there. gonna wait. I've noticed a lot of them going off from the top right corner. See who else the top is left coming. Corner. You mean Mike? What? Uh, 
I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Well, we know that together now, so. Did you see this view? They're obviously I mean, keeping it a secret. Like how? Sometimes I forget it, to just stop and take it all in. Yes, yes, we've got the idea, developers. It's a very pretty Seriously, game. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. Okay, so there will be conflict regarding Mike. And I believe it's selfie stick. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active, and uses a selfie stick. No. And where's this is an important fact. Okay. So we've been a gentleman. We are carrying the bags. So I, I can't see anything to interact with en route. <sighs> getting chilled. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Gonna be weird oh, hang on. Everyone up here again. Isn't this Definitely where she dropped like the phone? Party. Can we find the phone? Is there a phone? Phone, phone, phone. Did I see a glitter? No, it was a snowflake. Okay, I guess there's no phone there. What do you but think? Ah! Jesus! I didn't make me jump that much. But. Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. So she has two of her characteristics, intelligent and persuasive. But he's driven where she was... I've just read it, I've already forgotten what she was. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost okay. clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? Hmm. No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Yeah, but is it Welcome awkward? Up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Yeah, this is where it's setting like up that. what their relationship is like, man. The way you're being. Whether it's overly you awkward or friendly, like and we probably affect that. Uh, threat and welcome, we're all friends. Yeah, so. Uh, we're about to stay in a cabin. Uh, together, so and we need all we need to try and stick together, so we don't want to threaten him. So we'll welcome him, Michael. Be the bigger man. I'm just gonna leave now, otherwise, self-stick. this whole weekend is gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, <laughs> this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? It's very yeah. big of you, man. I hate you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're it good. looks like Nathan all Drake. Good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. He needs a punch in right. the face. See ya. He's the jock type character, basically, isn't he? So she, is she the cheerleader, or is Jess the cheerleader? What? Hey, could you? It's all take sort of, these um, of team film archetypes. Yeah, all the bags. No. Um, why? No, no, no. I need to go find Sam. No. Sam's already okay. at the thing. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. It's no. really, can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. You cheating that, cow. Please. Okay, I'll go. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you alone. Uh, what was, what was, hang on. Uh, honest, charitable, romantic, curious, curious. Brave, not not very brave, not very funny. I'm guessing the line is our starting point. We've already gone down a little bit on uh, for Emily. Is that because we welcomed Mike? Uh, right. Okay, well we've got, we've gone down on Emily a little bit, so to speak. We'll trust her, even though I know she's lying. Because I have a feeling she's going to hate us more. I say hate us more. The relationship will go down further. Are we going to break this, these two up? So Come on, selfie stick. Just agree. All right. For now. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Yes. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank Don't you. Don't sweetie me. They're not very likable characters, really, are they? I mean, Chris is clearly the bad guy. We've got 
Hayden uh, Pantier, which is clearly the Sam, uh, clearly the heroine. Uh, Jess, who... Actually, she's more the cheerleader type. We've got Mike, who is a complete and utter <sighs> so and so. We've got Ashley, who has a crush on Chris. Academic, acquisitive, and forthright. So she's going to be the curious one. Has a crush on Chris, but didn't Chris have a crush on Ashley? So they're going to get together, and um, Matt and Emily sound like they might break up by the end of this game. And oh, hello. Whoa, hello. That's Somebody's them. getting oh. a little friendly. And not in yeah, a we'll friend's own that. kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Yeah, we knew that, so. Are they going to kiss now? Hey, whoa. Hey, sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare oh you. Okay. Gosh. Oh my Fair gosh. Enough. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really yeah, sorry, okay. Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me oh, check it out. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, oh, okay. That, that suddenly became real very quick. What are we doing? Uh, mislead. It's but well, she knows. He knows it's not. Encourage. Uh, what are you honest? You're honest. Charitable, kind of charitable, but you're more honest. So, encourage. Have a look. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. <sighs> Son of a bitch! How did you not realize that? Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing you Maybe I'm just too suspicious. Yeah. Is it ever but just nothing that's within? what I would immediately think. Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it! Matt. So their relationship's going to be even further down now, isn't it? But good. He might have a selfie stick, but other than that, he might be a nice person. So we're back to Jess up in the cable car. So, read book, check phone. You're clearly a phone type of girl. She wasn't intelligent. Mike and Emily were intelligent. <gasps> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where well, I hello, can Mike. see you. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to supple the strapping military guard girl. come to take me into custody? Uh, run to bench? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> so we're now, oh, involved in a snowball fight, it seems. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? He's wearing the flannel shirt. Is there a bird on the table? Oh, sorry, R2. Oh, ah! Oh, hi. Hey! Oh, he's hiding behind a tree. Oh, snap! The, the guidance thing I'm thinking, you see. There, there's a bird. To make it obvious. <laughs> Hello? Come on. Oh, and. Hey, there Mike! We go. Boom, okay. no, you got Boom. Me. Okay. <laughs> this hasn't been very well written at all, has it? Well, maybe it has, but it's been made. There's another bird. Sometimes doing nothing is the right you thing can't to do. Hide from me, hint, 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 hint. Just stun another dumber. Yeah, I'm not hitting the bird. But he, this is the guns. If the bird flies away, he gets up. That's it. And then we pelt him. Yeah. So that's just setting up the guy and think. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. And then what? Oh, oh. It is no shot more. for shot though, what oh, you see in the visions. Oh, yeah. oh more. Oh you're going okay. down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done sitting. What is this music going on? Oh, so did I go down? Uh I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> Alright, alright. My my. So are we calling it my favour then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. Does it? My lady. Well, there will be a sex move called, uh... The Snowball, I imagine. Right, so... Oh! So it's actually changing on the thing, so I'm now more curious and not as brave. I don't know how. 
Or ma- mm. I was going to say maybe when I was telling... You, well, I didn't tell the others about the re- relationship with Mike. The relationship with Chris has gone down, but that's because he snatched the envelope, I'm guessing. Opinion of Sam's gone up slightly. Okay, so... Very romantic. I'm funny. More funny than romantic. So, you're getting a snowball in the face. Ah! Oh ho ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have I to wait you can. until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. It'll be freezing. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Yeah, it's well, d- definitely deliberately written like a very bad those quotes. B-level uh, horror yeah. film. Now, if you excuse me, that is my phone ringing, so I'm going to be right back, guys. Two seconds. Sorry about that, guys. I am back, uh, but I'm going to call this an episode here. I am the Digital Demon. This is Until Dawn, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you later.